<laughs> and let me tell you, it's a lot of fun to get back with all of you. Uh, there's Randy always is out there. I see Mafi Mojano is there. Meg, Quinn, a lot of you I haven't recognized before. Some I have, like Vivian and stuff. And I'll try to say hello to all of you, but I won't have a chance to because we're going to bring up right away. Why not? Because Yay. last comedian of the night. We want to get everybody in tonight. Why not? Yay, uh, bring on why not? Yeah. There she is. Well, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Yes, we, we hear you. Okay. Well, those of you who've seen me before know I'm really a blonde, so I hope you'll recognize me in this darker hair. Well, my <laughs> friends told me, hey, it's St. Patty's. Get your lassie on. So I tried really hard, but Second Life's been a bitch lately, and I, I couldn't get the paw, snout, tail, or fur to attach, so I just came out. <laughs> 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 One on, in honor of St. Patty's Day. It attaches My to your leg, though. Yes. So, a drunk Irishman walks out of a bar. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I've heard it. I think I've heard it. <laughs> All right. One night, this is when no one answered her door to see her husband's best friend, Patty, standing there. And she's like, Hello, Patty, but where's my husband? He went with you to the beer factory. Patty shook his head. Oh, ho, ho, Mrs. McMillan, there's a terrible accident at the beer factory. Your husband fell in a vat of Guinness stout and drowned. Oh, she started crying. Don't tell me that. Did he at least go quickly? Patty shook his head. Not really. He got out three times to pee. <laughs> 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 were working for the city public works department and one would dig a hole and the other followed behind and fill in the hole. They worked up one side of the street, down the other. They moved to the next street, working furiously all day, no rest. One man digging the hole, the other filling it in and an onlooker was amazed at their hard work but couldn't understand what they were doing. So he said to the hole digger, I'm impressed by the effort you two are putting in your work but I, I don't get it. Why do you dig a hole only to have your partner follow behind and fill it up again? And the hole digger wiped his brow and sighed. Well, he says, I suppose it probably looks odd because we're normally a three-person team, but today the lad who plants the trees called in sick. <laughs> <laughs> this Texan walks in a pub in Ireland and he clears his voice to the crowd of drinkers. He says, I hear you Irish are a bunch of hard drinkers. I'll give 500 American bucks to anyone here who can drink 10 pints of Guinness back to back. The room's real quiet. No one takes up the Texans' offer, so one man even left the bar. Well, 30 minutes later, the same gentleman who left comes back in, and he taps the Texan on the shoulder. Is your bet still good? asks the Irishman. And the Texan says, yeah, and asks the bartender to line up 10 pints of Guinness. Well, the Irishman immediately tears into all ten pint glasses, drinking them back to back. All the pub patrons are cheering as the Texan's sitting there just amazed. The Texan gives the Irishman the 500 bucks and goes, If you don't mind my asking, where'd you go for that 30 minutes you were gone? And the Irishman goes, Well, I had to go to the pub down the street to see if I could do it first. <laughs> 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 Paper. He was dumbfounded to read in the obituary column. He died. He quickly called his best friend, Finney. God, did you see the paper? They say I died. Yes, I saw it, replied Finney. Where are you calling from? <laughs> <laughs> a woman started dating a doctor. Before too long, she got pregnant. They didn't know what to do about it. Nine months later, just about the time she was going to give birth, the priest goes to the hospital for a prostate gland infection. Well, the doctor says, I know what we'll do. After I've operated on the priest, I'm going to give him the baby and tell him it was a miracle. You think it will work, she goes? Well, it's worth a try, he says. So the doctor delivers the baby, operates on the priest afterwards, and after the operation, he goes to the priest and he says, Father, you're not going to believe this. Well, what? Asked the priest. What happened? You gave birth to a child. 
Well, that's impossible, <laughs> said the priest. I just did the operation, the doctor insisted. It's a miracle. Here is your baby. Well, about 15 years pass, and the priest realizes he's got to tell his son the truth. So one day he sits the boy down, and he says, son, i gotta, I've got to tell you something. I am not your father. And the son says, what do you mean you're not my father? And the priest says, I'm your mother. The archbishop's your father. He found himself in agonizing pain in the hospital's ICU. Tubes up his nose, wires monitoring every function, and a gorgeous nurse hovering over him. He realized he's obviously been in a serious accident. She gave him a deep look straight in his eyes, and he heard her slowly say, you may not feel anything from the waist down. And he managed to mumble, can I feel your tits then? This <laughs> 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 so really old woman realized she's seen and done everything. It's time yeah. to depart from this yeah. world. Mm. After considering different methods of doing away with herself, she decides she's going to shoot herself through the heart, but not wanting to make a mistake, she calls the doctor and asks him exactly where the heart is, and he tells her it's located two inches below her left nipple, so she hangs up the phone, takes careful aim, and shoots herself in her left knee. <laughs> 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 A beer for me and one for my giraffe, please. So they proceed to drink. And then he goes, a shot for me and a shot for my giraffe, too. And they keep drinking all night long. Finally, the giraffe passed out on the floor of the bar. He paid The guy paid the tab, and he got up to leave. And the bartender's like, hey, you're going to leave that lying on the floor, are you? And the guy goes, it's not a lion, that's a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> This boy comes home. He goes, I got an F in arithmetic. And the father's like, why? And the boy goes, the teacher asked, how much is two times three? And I said, six. And the father goes, well, that's right. And the boy said, well, then she asked me, how much is three times two? And, 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 and the father goes, what's the fucking difference? And the boy goes, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> 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 okay. Well, finding one of her students making faces at the other kids on the playground, Mrs. Smith stopped to gently reprimand the child. She smiled real sweetly, and the Sunday school teacher goes, Johnny, when I was a little girl, I was told if I made ugly faces, it would freeze and I'd stay like that. And little Johnny looked up and he said, well, Mrs. Smith, you can't say you weren't warned. <laughs> <laughs> husband who goes with her stands before the judge. He, the judge says, well, what did, why did you do the shoplifting? And she says, I was hungry. And the judge goes, what did you take? She says, a can of peaches. So the judge is trying to figure out how to punish her. And he goes, how many peaches were in the can? She goes, mm, six. And the judge says, okay, one day for peach in jail, and that'll be six days of time you got to serve. And the judge said, would anyone like to say anything else? And the husband goes, yes, your honor, I would. She stole a can of peas, too. (laughs) 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 The fish, oh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, I got the wrong one here. Make me one with, oh, wait, Mm, I gotta find the beginning of my joke here. Oh, whoops! Oh. <laughs> I've been there. The engineer dies. He goes to the pearly gates. And St. Peter checks his dossier and he goes, "Uh oh, you're an engineer. You're going to hell." So the engineer goes to the gates of hell and he's let in. And pretty soon the engineer gets dissatisfied with the accommodations. He starts designing and building and all kinds of improvements. After a while, they got air conditioning, flush toilets, escalators, elevators, everything. He's a real popular guy down there. So one day, God called Satan on the phone. He goes, how's it going down there in hell? Hey, things are going great. We've got air conditioning, flush toilets, escalators. There's no telling what our engineer is going to come up with next, Satan said. What? God said, you got an engineer? That's a mistake. He should never have gone down there. Send him back immediately. 
Satan says, no freaking way. I like having an engineer on the staff. I'm keeping him. God said, you send him back here or I'll sue you. And Satan just laughed uproariously and said, ha, huh, where the hell are you going to get a lawyer? <laughs> this guy says to God, is it true that to you a billion years is like a second? God goes, yes. The guy goes, God, is it true that to you a billion dollars is like a penny? God goes, yes. And the guy goes, God, can I have a penny? And God goes, sure, just a second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Make me one with everything, the Buddhist said to the tofu hot dog vendor. <laughs> he got a tofu hot dog. The Buddhist handed the vendor a $20 bill. The vendor took the money and started helping the next customer, and the Buddhist looked puzzled. And he says, hey, where's my change? And the vendor said, change comes from within. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're about out of time, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Why not? You're rocking it. Yeah. Yeah.